Hi, my name is Joe Janigan, and I'm from Tier 1 Performance, here to talk about a virtual breakout room workaround for Microsoft Teams. So let's get into it. Uh, what is a virtual breakout room? Well, in a regular sense, when we're in a collaboration space, we got a group of maybe 10 to 15, and we want to have some small groups. And you'll station them around the corners of the room, and they can have this small group collaboration, which helps promote what we call slow thinking. Um, and it's a way to, to get good ideas out. Really, brainstorming in a large group, as I think most of us have experienced, doesn't work really well. Uh, because of COVID-19, the need and the rise of di digital facilitation is really being amplified. Uh, and so you want to have these digital spaces where you can create a safe place for that divergent thinking and creative thoughts. Um, this is one way to do that. Uh, also, as a facilitator, it allows you to make these small groups intentionally placed. So you could put maybe um, like a creative person along with a salesperson along with a, a technology person. Or you can put maybe more senior people with more junior folks. Or you can put like the two loud guys in the group and the two quiet people over here in a different group. Uh, what I think is the coolest about this idea is you can check in and support each group. So I can duck into one uh, digital breakout room and see how they're doing, then check into another and support them in the way that they need, and you can kind of guide the conversation. So let's talk about how you do this. Um, let's dup, jump into the setup. So we're going to create an invite. We're going to do a conference room that's full. We're going to invite everybody. Then we're going to make a couple breakout rooms. Now, you can invite people to these if you want. I prefer to collect the links to those breakout rooms and make a table and uh, show it to them that way. So let's let's dive into it and do that. So here's a generic meeting I've made. I went ahead and made a full group meeting for everybody to join, and I selected that Make It a Teams Meeting button. And you can right-click on this and copy the hyperlink, and then you can go to some other table and, and paste that. So I just made a really simple table right here. Just put full group session, highlight that. Actually, you don't even need to. You can just right-click on it. Um, if it'll let me, there it is, edit hyperlink. Go ahead and paste that one right in there. And then do the same thing for your breakouts. Now, when I make these breakout rooms, there's nobody in them. So I'll just do, let's grab this for an hour. I'm going to call this one Breakout 3. And again, you click this button to make it a Teams meeting. And then it gives you this automatic link right there. Right click, uh, copy, hyperlink. Go ahead and close that. And then go back to my table. This is Breakout 3. Click on there. Right click, edit hyperlink, go ahead and paste that link in there. And now I've got a nice handy table that I can use to push out to my attendees. All right, so I'm in the main meeting room and the computer behind me, which has got a music stand in front of it, you'll see why in a second, I'm gonna join that one. So if I click uh, into the chat here, and I'm going to join breakout room one, you'll see there's a version of me waiting there for me. Rejoin. All right. I'm there. Hey, there's me. Okay. Now, it's really just me on the other side of the room. Uh, but then I can then go from here to another breakout room if I wanted to. So I'll go back to the first room. Hey, I'm back in the first room. Now I can go check out to see who's in breakout room two. Now, there's nobody in breakout room two. So for now, it's just going to be me doing my thing. Uh, but let's say I wanted to go back to where Jobot is. That's the picture of me. I click over here and I can just pop right back. And you'll see now I'm back in this breakout room. So I can check on this group of people, see how they're doing. Uh, that's me and my son, I think last summer. And uh, anyway, so using this control panel over here, you can bop back in between all of the rooms. And again, inside this, the team's chat. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Let's get back to the regular room. Inside this Teams chat, I pasted all of the rooms. So I could tell anybody to go anywhere, really, from here, and they will just navigate themselves back and forth. So it's a real convenient way to pop back in. So let's take a look at the PowerPoint. So everyone starts in the conference room, you share out the links, and then you pop back in as you need to, and you can gather the group back to the main room to share stuff out, or you can send them back into their uh, breakout rooms uh, to collaborate. So it, it's pretty easy. Uh, again, you just set up a conference room with everybody and invite all of them and you set up the other breakout rooms and I collect um, all of the links into a table that I can just paste into the chat. And I guess you could paste it into all the chats so no matter where you are, you could just go back to the chat and take yourself back and forth. Thanks for watching. Bye.